Hello my sugar plums, welcome back to my channel. Now today's guys, I'm going to be showing you how to transform this tray into something unique and very beautiful. Now I got this tray from Ikea about like two or three months ago. I absolutely love the tray. It's a metal uh, tray. It's very heavy. I love the design. I love the size, but I did not like anything else about it. I didn't like the color or anything else about it. So I decided to go ahead and change it completely, make it something fun, very unique, versatile. And guys, I'm going to be using epoxy. Um, um, to do that now first thing I went and do I spray paint in black and then this is what it looked like even just spray painted it with black uh, the black spray paint guys it actually changed the look completely it is super beautiful now this is the epoxy that I'm gonna be using guys this is the epoxy I always use I haven't tried any other a other epoxy yet because why mess with something that's already good you know and this epoxy set really fast it's super super clean when it's dried it have minimal bubbles in it and my ratio is one to one so whatever epoxy that you want to use for your project guys make sure you follow the instruction on the back because not every epoxy is one to one ratio and always make sure that you wear you know protective gear like your glove or mask you know anything like this because, I mean, you don't want the epoxy to touch your skin. Some people are super allergic to it. But me, it's, it's fine. I can touch it. Um, sometimes it will get on my hand and I'll just, you know, use alcohol to remove it. But I'll be fine. But either way, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and use uh, my ratio one to one. And then I'm going to mix it for three uh, minutes. And then I'm going to um, divide it into seven different uh, little cups. Because I'm going to be doing, like, different colors. Some of the colors, like they're when they're like uh close together i'll be mixing them uh to give them uh, uh to give it like a little more um different in like if it's like purple i'll mix it with sometimes something that's like lilac or something like this and then i'll give it a whole more different type of color now once uh, <laughs> one of the things that I want to uh, tell you guys, when you're working with epoxy, if it's uh, 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 the temperature is super hot, your epoxy set really fast. Now, that day that I was working to make that tray, it was extremely hot. And while I was working, and although I wanted to work super fast while I was doing it, and some of the epoxy on my other cups was already set. So be extremely careful when you're working with epoxy and make sure you work super fast is if you are like in a, you know, hotter, uh, in, you know, environment or something like this. So, um, that's my little tip for the day when we're working with epoxy. So you'll see guys, I first went with a clear coat and I'm going to go ahead and use a spatula to like spread it out, make it even just this, this like clear coat I made is just to make sure that everything is nice and going to be smooth when you, um, when I put my other, uh, epoxy on top of it. And then I always go with my little heat gun and pop any little bubble that rise to the surface you know so i don't have any bubble on my um epoxy now some of the color guys i'm gonna be using um i'll be mixing like two or three different colors together when they are so close together but it'll give them like a, a twist in the color um i'll show you all the color that i'm gonna be using guys i got this set from uh, amazon and it's like a mica powder and uh, those are like simple but they give you like i think it's like 50 or 25 I, I don't remember because i buy like different uh, uh from different vendors on amazon and this came like you see lo those little bags they're like sample bags but you don't need a lot to use in your raisin now uh, your epoxy um to make it because they're like super potent i have these uh, uh little bags for quite a while and i use them all the time and it, they're still there and I'm showing you guys all the colors that I'm going to be using. You can see some of the colors are like close together, like this Datura and the purple and they have the violet. They're all like close together. But when you mix them together, they give you like a little bit of like shine, like different, like sparkle of like, you know, shine to uh, the color. And some of uh, the black uh, I use, I also mix it with... Um, uh, a black glitter because this, this is gonna be my base again guys i'm using different like seven different type of color and like i mentioned before i was working really fast but apparently because it was so hot some of the uh epoxy in the other cups was setting and they set really fast you'll see what i'm showing you in the uh throughout the video you see while i'm pulling the epoxy some of the uh, epoxy that I had in other cups were already completely set so make sure you work fast when you're working with epoxy 
taxi even if you have like a hot weather um that day make sure you walk super fast now i'm gonna go ahead and uh, i'm gonna let you watch this part guys it's nothing much to it i'm just gonna go ahead with my um, base coat which is gonna be like a almost like a grayish black i'm gonna put it as the base and then i'm gonna go ahead with putting um pouring on uh, the other colors and then mix them together and then use my heat gun again until you know have like the desired color that i'm gonna be using and also i'm gonna be using some crystals and some uh, uh crushed glass as well because i wanted to make um like a beautiful serving tray or even if it's like uh you can use it for as a decorative tray or even as like something you can put in your you know on top your of your vanity uh for your skincare and your perfume or even in your bathroom and you can put like tower in it like soap and stuff like this because it's such a big tray guys and it's metal it's very very heavy so um i don't know what i'm gonna be using it yet for i'm still on the side it and i even like uh, went and put it in on the wall and you can actually use it as a very unique different like wall art for your uh, dining room since it's like a tray you can use it in your kitchen so guys the, the you know the possibility is endless so the whatever you want to use like something like this with is you know up to you again i don't know what i'm gonna be using it for yet and again guys i want to make sure uh, to let you know that the epoxy i'm using it's actually food grade which mean that if you decide to use this as a serving tray you it's fine because you can use this this epoxy you know on near food and it's not gonna uh, anything it's not nothing's gonna happen i mean because it's food grade it's fat it's safe to use on you know around food so if you want to use it as a beautiful serving tray you can put like your food on top of it it's gonna be super fine it's safe so guys i'm gonna be uh, letting you watch this part and i'll be back to show you uh some of the finished result Okay, guys so this is me right now you see me uh, going over uh, after I finish adding my my crushed glass my um, my other uh, like um, loose uh, gem I also went with the little scrape of gold fold that I had used before that's why I say when you use uh, if you decide to buy the gold sheets uh, don't uh, throw away the little scraps because you see me using them uh, right here and they make perfectly beautiful little pieces of like gold and then i went with a smaller batch of uh clear uh epoxy just because i want to set uh, those uh stone those loose you know jams and crushed glass into it i don't make a lot just because you don't want them to move around i make just enough to so they i can glue them down with the epoxy now i'm gonna let it, it dry for about like four four to five hours and then once this part is cured then i can go with a big batch of clear epoxy what i'm doing right now and i went over it because everything's already uh, set and you, they're not gonna be moving anymore so i went with a big batch of clear epoxy and completely cast everything that i have 
into that clear epoxy and now i have like a very smooth surface and i'm gonna be showing you after i finish adding the clear epoxy and then what i what i did after that is simply simply let it dry and cure overnight so um i went and did that and the next morning i, I woke up and i have a beautiful beautiful unique serving tray that's completely unique that's unique to you to whatever design that you want to do guys now this thing is super simple to do guys super easy very very simple very beautiful whatever design or whatever color that you want to do when working with epoxy guys it's up to you and the possibility are endless guys and make something that reflect you color that represents you you know whatever you want you can make something for the fall you can make something for the winter like the holidays coming up guys i'm thinking about doing like a whole new series on my channel called you know epoxy either thursday or tuesday where every tuesday or every thursday i can make like a, a different type um art with epoxy and guys when working with epoxy it's not just for flat surface you can actually take it and make like you know sculpture with it you can sculpt it you can mold it you can give it curves so um there's something to think about let me know guys if you think it's gonna be a good idea uh if you want me to um go and do that uh you know one day uh completely for epoxy i would love to do that because i love absolutely love working with epoxy it's so beautiful now as you see guys this is the next morning i'm showing you i'm giving you a close-up of everything and you can see the glass uh, the crushed glass the gold the little speck of gold the even like the little speck of like uh a glitter that out I had put you can see everything and to me when I look at this tray it's almost like look like when you at a beach guys and it's so clear and then you can look down and you at uh, the ocean bed and you can see all of those beautiful rocks and you know algae and like the fish this is the what it reminds me of it's so beautiful guys like literally it's more beautiful you know in person that it is showing in camera guys now this is my diy for today guys i hope you enjoy it if you do please don't forget to give me a like if it's your first time here guys don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel that'll help me a lot and be part of my family and my journey on youtube i will really appreciate that and guys for all of you who are my own subscriber thank you so much for being so supportive thank you so much for being here for always stay with me guys thank you so so much i love you so very much guys now i'm gonna go ahead and let you uh finish watching this as always guys i always leave a little bit of a picture for you at the end guys i'll see you soon for a new uh video and guys i'm trying to uh post you know more uh often on my channel i'm also trying to organize my channel a little bit more uh you know to put the video in different you know categories so it's gonna be easier for somebody to find guys but either way guys i'll see you next uh, next time for a new video until then guys as always be blessed and stay blessed i'll see you soon guys bye i love you Mwah.